Hi guys and welcome to this new tutorial in which I'm going to explain how to draw fur. Um, this tutorial has been highly requested for some time now, so I thought this would be the time to finally record it for you guys and I hope this will be helpful and I hope this will be fun to watch also. So yeah, let's get started. Um, first I'm going to explain the materials I'm using. Um, I'm using my Kenson 1557 paper. It's the paper I use for all my commissions basically and it's really my favorite. The pencils I use are my black colored pencil by Faber-Castell. Um, a mechanical pencil by Faber-Castell. It is 1.5 millimeters and it has a 2B lead. And then I also have my blending stick and a mono zero eraser by Tombow. So before you start drawing, you have to know two rules. One is always draw the hairs in the direction of the fur growth and two is follow the bone structure of the animal. And those two things are really important when it comes to drawing realistic fur. Because if you draw the fur in the wrong direction it will look funny and if you don't follow the actual structure of the bones you will get a very flat drawing. So as you can see I've drawn these circles here and I also drew some arrows to indicate the fur growth. And I will be doing one circle with short fur and one with long fur. I think these two different types of fur are the most important ones if you want to learn to draw fur. And there are so many different types of fur that it's just too hard to put it all in one video so in this video I'm only going to do short and long fur but if you want uh, more tutorials about for instance black or white fur or curly fur please let me know in the comments so then I'll may do some other videos about fur as well now after this long intro it's finally time to start drawing. Um, I'm starting at the top, I'm using my mechanical pencil here and I'm just starting with a light layer of lines. And that's basically what you're doing, you are drawing lines in the right direction. As you can see the arrow is pointing downwards which means that I have to draw my lines downwards as well. And in the meantime, I am following the circular shape. When I draw animal fur, I always work in layers because real fur consists of layers as well. So when you don't work in layers, you will get a very flat finish while you want to create like a 3D furry effect. So that's why I'm building layers as well. And I'm just starting out with the light one and I will go over it with new layer later on to create the depth. So when I draw short fur, I draw every single hair. And this is really time consuming, but it, you will get faster at it um, the more you practice. But it is just something you can brush through. You have to take your time, your time to make it look realistic. Also, don't be afraid to leave open some tiny gaps between the hairs. Um, you want them to stand out individually. And when you try to fill in every single space on the paper, you won't get that effect. So you can leave open some tiny spaces. Don't leave open uh, too many big gaps. but you don't have to fill in every single uh, gap on the paper. And then it's time for the second layer. And I'm just uh, using my mechanical pencil as well here. Uh, I am going over with a, 
with some more pressure and I'm going a bit darker I am filling in some gaps that were too big and I am defining some shadows and this will be the start of that 3D effect I want to achieve and watch closely how I am following the circular shape I am making some hair stick out because the coat will never lay entirely flat on the animal so I'm making sure there are some little hairs sticking out but I am following the shape and I am drawing the hairs um, in the right direction with how the second layer looks I am going over with my blending stick to make everything just a little bit softer I'm not using too much pressure because I don't want to fade out the details I just put in but I just want to make it look a little bit softer than it did before Then I am adding the final layer and I always do this with my uh, black pencil because this one can get the darkest of all the pencils I have so I add the darkest shadows with my black pencil I'm not going over the entire layer again I am just adding some shadows to define the shapes and now you can see it really gets that furry effect already these two balls uh, completely at the end of the video but now I am moving on to the long fur ball to explain the difference um, in drawing techniques um, between long fur and short fur so with long fur I start the same way I start at the top and I'm using my mechanical pencil to create the first layer and I am using very long strokes because it's long fur so you have to use longer strokes and I'm not focusing on drawing each hair individually with longer fur it's better to divide your divide the fur in shapes in clumps and not draw every hair individually because you can get very wiry looking fur that way and it's not what you want you want a soft finish and that is I think the biggest difference uh, between drawing short fur and long fur with short fur you are 
focusing on drawing individual hairs and with long fur um, the most important thing is to get the shadows in the right place I am keeping the first layer very light um, it doesn't have much depth right now but I will add that in later I just want to um, make sure that I am drawing the hairs in the right direction and that is basically what the first layer is for to find out in which direction you have to draw the hairs and if you start out lightly it's easier to correct your mistakes as well so that's why using layers is also a good technique So when the first layer is done, I am going to blend with my blending stick and I am using a bit more pressure than when I blend short fur because I want to create that extra soft look. And then I'm going over with the second layer. I am filling in some gaps and defining some shadows. Um, I will put the shadows um, in the places where I want uh, the clumps of fur uh, to stick out or to come forward and that will create uh, the 3D effect. And now I am adding the darkest shadows with my black pencil again. If you want to add uh, highlights to the fur, you could use an eraser, basically any eraser you have at home. But I love to use my Tombow Mono Zero eraser for this, because it can get to a very sharp point, so you will be able to erase very clean and small lines. And what I do, I just cut it off to an even sharper point, and then you can easily um, add some highlights to the fur. And these are basically the techniques you can use for any furry animal. Um, it's always best to use reference photos because you have to understand your subject before you can actually draw it in, uh, in a realistic way. But if you found a good reference photo that has a lot of detail, you can use these techniques. You, can, you could work in layers. Um, you have to find out in which direction you have to uh, draw the hairs. And then it's basically uh, a matter of working in layers and adding shadows until you get the right shade and the right texture. some final tips for drawing fur. Some final.
final tips for drawing realistic fur or realistic animals one is that you have to draw what you see on your reference picture instead of what you think you are seeing and that's a really big tip because it's it's all about learning to look and learning to observe and knowing your subject before you start drawing your subject and tip number two is don't rush and that's also a big one because you can draw something realistically if you don't take your time for it so learn to take your time and learn to be patient um, and that will really make your drawings better and the last big tip is simply practice practice it over and over again until you get better it takes a lot of time to improve but if you want to you can improve and drawing fur is not easy it's I think a bit of a feeling you have to get and it takes some time but if you if you have learned the techniques and if you know how it works it will get easier over time and I think that brings us to the end of this video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you've learned something from it. If you have drawn along with me, feel free to share your drawings with me on Instagram or Facebook. My links are below. And I want to thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you want to see more. And then I'll see you in the next video.